Hi, Sharon Danley here with another two minute tip. This week it's about curly hair. Uh, I've had a lot of compliments in the last video I put up about how do I get my hair to look like this. Well, this video is all about that. Okay, I'm back from the gym and this is what my hair looks like when it's still wet. Uh, I'm showing you this because I want you to notice how um, my hair isn't exactly a, a strong curl like many of the other curly haired beauties have. It's more of a wave and uh, you know I can comb it straight if I want to but I'm going to encourage the curls. So what I've done is I've used some Curl Keeper Original in it and then I put some gel in. So now what I'm going to do is blow dry it upside down and blow and scrunch as I go ahead and then I'll show you what that's okay, like. Okay, I'm about halfway done and I, I should let you know I'm just using a regular, you know, blow dryer with a, um, a diffuser on the end and I use it on a medium to cool setting but because I, I don't take a long time to blow dry my hair because there isn't much of it there uh, it doesn't get a chance to to get yellow but if it does I just shampoo it with baking soda and it comes right back beautifully okay I'm going to finish blowing. okay dry. so this is the end result of uh, blow drying it with a diffuser where I I would blow on it and then push it up or scrunch it as they say. Now, you can see that I still have waves. Uh, it's not like curly curly or anything like that. And this would be, this would be fine, uh, although I would have to use my enhancers like um, you know, little mini extensions and uh, back combing and or uh, hair padding to give me the kind of lift that I need for my hair. Now, it looks fine now and full, but I can guarantee you that within about a half an hour it's going to sit flat because I just have that kind of hair and that kind of a head. So now I'm going to show you what I do to get my curl uh, or my wave to come into more of a curl or a stronger wave simply with pin curls and I can I will put it up wait maybe 15 minutes while I get changed uh, do my makeup and take them out and then I'll have a stronger wave that I I can work with that I know that will hold better so I'll be right back and I just want to make a note about makeup here I've had some lovely comments from several people saying that they think my skin looks great and everything and I thank you for that however I'm going to give you the real honest look at my skin. It is, yes, it's in fairly good shape, but I have, well, I have darkening under the eyes. This lighting isn't as great. I got, you know, spots that come out and that sort of thing. Um, but this is where the dual finish powder for me works really good and especially in the humid weather. Uh, it doesn't melt like powders or I'm sorry like uh, creams and liquids do and I can put on just a little bit in just strategic areas or put on the full armor. Uh, today, Mondays are my day. I've decided it's a spiritual day uh, after I work out. I'm going to go to my local coffee shop and I journal and or read. That's my day just to be for me. That's a good way to start the week. So I'm not going to go out looking like this, but I could. Uh, I, but I am going to add a little bit of makeup just to uh, just to give me a fresher look and to even up my skin tone and do all the things we've talked about. Anyway, now I'm going to show you how I do the pin curls. Okay. This is a fishing tackle box that I found at my in Canada at the Canadian Tire Store. This is where I keep my bobby pins. And I think I've shown this to you before. Let me see if I can open it without everything spilling out. Nah, I can't. In the front compartment, I leave, you know, my, my shorter ones. Then I use my long roller pins here. I have my long hair pins here, my shorter hair pins, and over here I have my elastics. This it's so easy to pick up and move and when I just put my bobby pins back where I got them when I'm finished with them it's very simple storage and I always know where everything is and I'm not always trying to look through pins to find the right size. Okay the other thing I'm going to use is a little bottle of just water to just to mist my hair in areas where it may be fairly dry and my little rat tail comb that uh, just does everything that I need. So my part is about here. Now what I'm going to do is comb this back. I'm going to take my first section here. I'm going to section it off. You see that? I might give it just the slightest misting. That's all. Now, if you want 
tighter curls, you uh, roll smaller. If you want bigger curls, you roll bigger. I'm going to try to just hang on to the wave that I have. So, let me see. I put my finger here and I wrap like so. Release my finger so that it stands up. That way it's lifting from the root. Then I put a bobby pin in through the center. See? Let me do the next one. Make a part. Slight mist. Put my finger in. If I wanted to have a big, I would wrap two fingers. Let me just do that just for this purpose. And remember, it's important to have them so they're standing up and not flat. So there's with one finger and there's with two. Now the, the trick is when you roll horizontally you're going to get a wave. When you roll vertically then you're going to get more of a curl. And because my hair tends to be more wavy than curl, curly, I'm going to enhance just what's already there. Okay, let's do another one. And just as you can see how, you know, my hair ain't that great. It's a little bit thin on the bottom. And I've, tr I've tried to, you know, I keep trying to keep it cut because when it gets too thin, it's great to have longer hair. And I love it. But if it gets too thin and scraggly looking, then it doesn't look that great as far as I'm concerned. But, you know, I use extensions extensively. Okay, so now the other side. Now this is the bang area that I'm doing. I'm going to make a little part here. And whoops, we don't want that back there. We just want the front. And again, look at all the different layers when you look closely at my hair. This is where wearing curly hair makes your hair look a lot thicker. So wrapping this around, tuck the end in, release my finger out and place a bobby pin in along the scalp line. You see? Okay. Now for the back, I'm going, well actually I'm going to do another curl here going this way. It's slightly damp so I'm not going to you see, you can get pretty fast at doing this, too. And what I do at night, um, I've tried all kinds of methods, but what I do at night when I'm watching a documentary, I'll just take my little thing of pins, go sit, watch TV, and ro roll my hair while I'm watching television, and that works out just great. Okay, uh, now I'm going to show you um, this. Okay, let's see. One more here. And this time now I'm going to go back because I'm at the crown, sort of, not, well, the front part of the crown. And a little bit on the ends. And I'm going to use two, well, yeah, two fingers uh, because I want, no, I'm going to just, I changed my mind. I'm going to just have one finger because uh, just because of the way my hair falls, I'm better to have it a little tighter. Now that's, for other people it may be different. So what I did was just rolled it going back. Okay, I'm gonna finish rolling this because you don't need to see me do everything, but you get the idea. Straight across, and at the sides here, just as an example, I'll split this in two. Do one then another, and then I'm finished. I'll, uh, I'll get back to you when it's finished rolling. Okay, all the pin curls are in, and this is sort of the pattern. It's just kind of a, a grab and go. Um, it's very simple, very simple. And also, when you see my head like this, you can see how I have a smallish head. And of course, I use back combing, I use hair padding, I use extensions to help fill that out. If my body were a size zero, I wouldn't think about it. But because my body frame now is fuller, shall we say, than my head, I 
can look like pea brain on monolith. It's not a look I'm going for. So I augment my hair to give more balance to the overall structure. Anyway, I'm going to put on a little makeup, get changed, and then take these out. It'll take me about 15 minutes to do both, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, makeup's on, and I'm dressed to go out just to uh, just to do my, my own thing today. So it's nothing big. Uh, it's the makeup uh, video that I did uh, for seniors, or for senior seniors. I'll put a link uh, it, it here so that you, c you can find it and take a look at it. Just even skin tone, uh, shaping my brows, and I only used a gel pencil just underneath in the upper waterline and along my lashes. A um, little bit of powder at the ends, lipstick, and slight bit of blush, and I'm good to go. Okay, so now it's time to take out these pin curls and see what we have. So they haven't been in that long, but do you see how it falls? in a wave pattern. Now the shorter the hair of course it will it will it will be tighter but um, I can certainly loosen that. So these are this is how it 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 does after about 15 20 minutes pretty good. I'm going to finish on doing and then I'll show you the whole thing. Okay, so they're all out and I put them all back into my handy dandy little tackle box and they're all there ready to go when I need them next. So here's what it looks like. Not particularly flattering, but I haven't pulled anything out yet. You can see the, the, the wave, so I've worked with the wave in my hair. So there's several approaches that can be taken at this point. Uh, what I'm going to do is run my fingers, this is what works best for me, is to run my fingers through and, and loosen up the, the individual waves. So I'm just, just doing this. You can see how that Then in the top and over the crown. So now when I do this overnight it it has a chance to curl longer. It ends up being quite a bit shorter. Sometimes I wear my hair short like that and instead of pulling it down I just like smoosh it up in the roots and spray it. And then other times I just let it do its own thing. Now, if you take a look, you hear me talk often about lifting the circumference of the crown. That's this area right here, okay? Now in my case, I tend to have an egg-shaped head. It goes, you know, like this. So this part of my hair needs to be especially augmented. And the back of my head isn't exactly, well, it's not the best shape, but I'm not complaining because I can work around it. So I'm going to uh, show you what I do with um, back combing and a little bit of hairspray. Okay, so here are the tools I use. This is hair padding. This is a bumpet that I've made. I've got several different sizes, etc. They're just made out of uh, hair that I got at the dollar store, wrapped it in a, in a um, hair net that you can get at your local drugstore. And I use this to shape, to lift at the back of my head. And here is just one extension. It's a dark gray that I will put in over top of that just to add a little bit of, uh, of um, darkness uh, to give it the hair in the back of my head. Some of it is dark, so this is just going to add a little bit more and give me just a bit of a different look. Now, when it comes to back combing, here is the trick. After I've separated, I take a separate here where I'm going to put the, the fullness in. Now, I separate the hair, but I don't pull on it except at the roots. So I go in, back comb the root, and there you have it. Now, underneath that, sometimes I will place my, my um, hair padding other t and then I put the uh, extension over top of that. Other times, I will just back comb, take an, a second section and back comb that. So, 
I'm going to go without the hair padding today. Uh, and sh well, I'll, sh I'll show you what each is like. So what I do is, if I'm not going to use the hair padding, I put the extension between the two pieces that I've backcombed. The hair, the, you, you see how this is sticking out a little bit? The, the um, backcombing underneath the extension gives the fullness that, uh, that, that I need or that I could get from the hair padding. Then I'm just going to put my own, the, the top piece over top of that and just play around with it. Give me a second because I, uh, I need to see what the back looks like. Okay, I think that's fine. I've got the fullness that I need. I've got a nice shaping and that works for me great. Now what I could do and I, I would do on other days is I have a second hair piece here that I use and I would make a parting Oh, right about here, lift the hair up, back comb it a bit, place this in, let the hair over top to give me extra fullness. But it's Monday, it's my reading and, uh, and journaling day, so I'm not going to do that. However, even though the back and the crown have been taken care of nicely, I still have the sides here, the egg shape that I need to get rid of. So a simple way to handle that, or wherever you find you want fullness, is to Make a part, don't disturb the curl, but just back comb the root. And you can hairspray it a little if you like. See how that works? I'm gonna do a little on the other side here. And again, not disturbing the curl too much, but just getting to the root, back combing there, a little spray and voila. So I'm going to pull this down a little bit because that's not really what I'm going for. So you can see how doing that with the back combing at the root, a little bit of hairspray, you can augment, shape, redefine the size, uh, do whatever you want. Now let's say here's another thing. If you need a little more fullness at the bottom, I go in underneath, again with my comb, just back comb the roots, Sometimes I spray, sometimes I don't. And do you see how that pulls it out? So I'll have to even myself up over here. Do the same thing. There. Now I feel like for a Monday, just my relaxation and spiritual day, uh, this is this is fine. This works great. Uh, you know, my my makeup is simple and easy. You do it in five minutes, and like I said, it only takes about 15 minutes with these curls to get just for my hair and for those who have wavy hair but would like to have a little bit more wave to their hair. I think this is a good approach. And again, remember, if you want more of a spiral curl, then you curl vertically. And once again, as a reminder, if you want bigger curl, then use two fingers or maybe even three fingers, depending on your hair texture, your length, your head shape, all those things need to be taken into consideration. Anyway, this is, uh, this is just to show you. I hope that it's helped. I've had many requests of, about uh, you know my hair and and as you've seen it's uh, you know I've got hair like everybody else and I just augment it and help and if I'm going out by the way going back to hair extensions I have a few extensions that are just like this uh, and I, I will just pluck them in at the sides or any place where I think I need a little extra. The, uh, the, the, it, you know, for red carpet events or just, you know, partying or weddings or whatever. The, the it, little extensions can do so much. They don't need to be big, long things. You don't need to put in all kinds. Just pieces as you need them. Like for me today, just one piece at the top and not even using the hair puppet. Anyway, ladies, I'm going on. So I hope that helps uh, uh, you as far as the curly haired uh, beauties are concerned. Uh, and those who have maybe just a little bit of curl that they're noticing happening as you've turned gray. I never had this curl or this wave until after, well after the finish line, I notice it's starting to happen. So, uh, you know, instead of trying to fight it, I'm working with it and it's turning out to be a, 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 a pleasant uh, new way to wear my hair. Anyway, I hope that helps. And um, 
I'll put some uh, links in the in the video as to where you can look at this this kind of just simple, easy, everyday makeup. And if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the description box below. Chic, I think so. Anyway, we'll see you next time.